Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use background effects during your Teams meeting. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in a Teams meeting and I'm waiting for my attendees to join. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and select a different virtual background. To do this, I'm going to go up here to the more menu and I'm going to go to background effects. Okay, over here you're going to see that you have a few options. Here you can blur your background. This will actually blur the actual background of the room you're in. You can also go down here and select from a variety of built-in backgrounds. Just click on one you like and then come down and click apply. All right. Now, the other thing you can do with your backgrounds is you can preview them before your attendees see your new background. So, for example, if I want to preview this background, I'll go ahead and select it. Then I'll go down here to preview. What you're going to notice is that your camera turns off, but down here in the corner, you get to see the preview of how this will look. And then you can click apply and turn on video. All right, now my favorite feature is that I can upload my own custom background image. So I'm gonna go up to the very top and I'm going to click add new. Now I wanna call this out. When you mouse over add new, it's going to show you the image requirements. So your minimum size is 360 by 360 pixels your maximum size, 2048 by 2048. The file type, this is important. You can use a JPEG, a JPG, a PNG, or a BMP. All right, so I'm gonna click Add New. And what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna open up Canva and show you here that I was actually designing my own custom background. So I quickly and easily built this using the canva.com online app. Then I just went over here to share and I downloaded my image. Now that I have it downloaded, I can upload this into Teams. So we'll go back here and we're gonna see here it is, the School of Rock background. And we'll click open. And notice here it is a .png. You can also see it here in the file type column. If you don't see all these details, you can click the drop down here and make sure you select details. All right, I'm gonna click open and that file has been added. We can see the background is added. So I don't see it, where is it? If you scroll all the way to the bottom of this list, you should find it there. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and click apply and boom shakalaka here I am with my own custom background image now don't be alarmed you'll notice that the font or any text on your image is going to look like it's mirrored but don't worry it's only mirrored to you your attendees will see it in the correct view if you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.